Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Greg M. Year, life on the go with your track and field update, specifically about the U.S. Olympic trials track and field. I'm just covering a few things here because they have a young guy, I guess 16 now, trying to qualify in the 400 and running. Phenomenal. So there you got Quincy Hall, 44 60 qualifier. Quincy Wilson, that's the 16 year old, on a touch. Right? 44 66, personal best. Chris Bailey, 44 86. Macho Bowling, 44 94. Johnny Blackburger, 45 08. Judson Lincoln, 45 09. Justin Robinson, 45-15. Kennedy Lightner, 45-17. Bryce Deadman, 45-21. Logan Pop Popelka, 45-20. Jonah McIver, 45-26. Michael Norman, 45-31. And you see all the qualifiers there. Vernon Norwood, Nathan Kent, J. Corey Patterson, Lots going into the semi-finals. But this young man here, Quincy Wilson, right? He looked pretty good in his in his heat. And he doesn't, you know, you know, he, he has kind of an awkward form, you know, he's kind of cranky. But but still, strong 16-year-old. We haven't seen 16-year-olds running this for, for quite a few years now. There's some 16-year-olds that have come up over the years and ran 44 and then fade away. This guy is still showing some signs of strength all the way down to now the Olympic trials and him have the Olympic standard now. That young man is going to be motivated. He's like, I watch the interview. He says, I have nothing to lose. I'm just here, just, you know, doing what I need to do and, you know, enjoying the experience and all that so to speak you know to paraphrase a little bit but i'm going to be watching this young man you know along with all the senior guys who are out there who don't want to be beaten by a 16 year old 16 year old looking almost like a seasoned veteran man and this guy got so many years ahead of him still i hope he can keep this farm right through it and don't get burned out by the time he's 20. you know what i'm saying because he's running pretty fast at 16. i always have a concern when young guys 15, 16, 17, running fast, 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 so early. And then they're not around good coaches and teams to preserve them, keep them injury-free, healthy, and, you know, preserve the longevity in the sports. So we'll be watching this space. Then let's, let's go to, um, where I want to go to. There's a lot of events out there. The 100-meter women's first round. Shakara Richardson. I know the whole world saw the race because all their, their fellow athletes who are, who are competing against them, competition, are looking to see how the U.S. is going to be doing to see what they have to measure up to. And Shakari stumbled out the blocks. Recovered. But you know what? Everybody, look at that top end speed. Does she have the best topping speed in the world right now? She look like it. Look at she, when she said she's not. What well, she said? I forgot the phrase. I'm not back. I'm better. You look like she even better this year in the Olympic year. And what better year to be even better than better? Right? Melissa Jefferson 10.91 season best. Mackenzie Long 10.94. Ali Abs 10.97. Ah, um, you see those times, man. Um, Pandini qualified to 11.03 Akinason 11.04 Look at who else qualified Defran 11.05 Tamara Clark 11.05 Anisha Terry she qualified 11.07 Makaya Briscoe 11.07 Kennedy Blackman 11.07 Jaden Mays 11.07 Candy Seal 11.11 Jada Baylor 11.12 Abby Steiner qualified on the line. She made the Olympic stand at level 1 3. I know everybody is wondering, uh, Abby Steiner, what's going on with her? She seems to be st still trying to find her, her peak, her form. Because she had such an exceptional collegiate career. Everybody thought she was going to be, you know, top 10 in the world, you know. 
English guard now making a comeback. Level one seven, she qualified. Alisa Colbert, Taylor Anderson. You see all the qualification there. So the semi-finals, man, you know, the slowest of the qualifiers, Sturgis, 11-3-4. So the women's semi-final, nobody's expecting Shakara Richards to lose her semis and to go into the final and blaze up. Blaze up. The way she's running, she's probably going to run a 10-6-9 in the finals. She looks like she's ready for that kind of speed already. But, you know, if she take a 10 7 5, I'm sure she's not going to be upset. Because, you know, it's hard to maintain those high intensity speed, you know, especially when you get to semi finals where you have to kind of work it a little bit and then come back and run the finals and still keep that up. So it's only the best of the best of who is conditioned and have good race execution, less mistakes are going to um, rise to the top six in the final, especially the top three to represent your country. So I just wanted to cover this, man. All I'm going to do is cover this for now because these are some of the marquee events. Men's are coming up. You know, we still got 200 and 400. Of course, um, Sydney McGaffin love running, not running the 400. But she's coming to challenge herself back in the 400 hurdles. Plenty of stuff to look forward to. Plenty of stuff. U.S. Olympic trials seem like it's going to be even more exciting than ever before. Because everybody starts to show signs of, of readiness now. Because, you know, we were kind of concerned in the season. The professionals just, like, start out the gate slow and struggling. And, you know, people running with needed times. And, you know, still not running much faster with with needed times. But now, look at this. And you see the wind reading time. I like that they're showing the wind reading times. All wind legal times. Wow, could the world record for the 100 be going back to the um to a new US runner, Shakara Richardson? My homegirls from Jamaica, they're struggling, man. They started out kind of late in the season, and then when they came out running some very slow times, and you know, Coach Francis and Shelly and Fraser Price uh, coaches will see if they, they'll have them peeking by and, and showing some sign of readiness. By next week in the Jamaica trials, the European women showed themselves at the um, European Championships and they're only going to improve from there too. This Olympics is going to end up turning up some good competition. I was kind of worried that there's not going to be too many of a competitive competition. Um, slow times, maybe the slowest times you'll see this year for Olympics, but no, it's, it's working out, it's working out. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, just stay tuned. Right, stay tuned. We'll be watching this space. Semi-finals coming up. You know, this young youth. You know, Quincy Wilson, 400. We'll see if that guy is going to make it in the top six in the finals and make the you know, make it into individuals or to the relay. Man, that would be something else. Anyway, that's it for now. I just wanted to, you know, you know, comment and do a reaction to, to the excitement as he, you know, starting to... To show up at the um the US trials, man. It's gonna be something. Get your popcorn ready. <laughs>